So when I travel, I try and do drop-in workouts at CrossFit gyms where I'm going to. Like last year when I went to Nashville for Fuddle Hacking Live, I dropped into some of the CrossFit gyms there. Last year when I went to um, when I went to uh, San Diego, I dropped into CrossFit gyms there. When I go to Centralia, Illinois, I dropped in, I dropped in there like all over the country. Wherever I'm at, I'm doing a drop in at some CrossFit gym. And you learn every time you go to a different CrossFit gym. You learn because with CrossFit being an affiliation, not a franchise, Everybody gets to interpret the recipe their own way and express the recipe their own way. And because they do that, every CrossFit gym has its own flavor. But I've noticed that most places you go, the CrossFit flavor is not a professional flavor. It's a, a hobbyist flavor or it's, you know, somebody who's not really... It, is led by a person who's not really a business person. So you'll see a whole lot of stuff that really makes you raise your eyebrows. Like you call the operation, you call the, the CrossFit gym five times before you get somebody to answer the phone or the coaches are working out in the workouts or the coaches don't really like greet you or get to know your name when you show up. They might lead the warm-up they may not lead the warm-up i mean sometimes it's a train wreck and every time i put on the flip side you see things like that that make you really worry and make it clear and easy to distinguish why it is that you know some crossfit gyms make it and some crossfit gyms don't why my gym has succeeded and why so many others have failed but also you, see, you always learn cool stuff. You'll see stuff that gives you ideas like, like how they arrange their equipment is much more logical. It creates, it creates a class flow. Or you'll see like really cool ideas for warm-ups that we never would have thought of on our own. There's always something to be learned there. So <sighs> anymore now, it seems like the number of CrossFit gyms is reducing from year to year as... You know, the, the strong survive as the, the, the weak are weeded out. Or people that just, they're not built for the grind. They fall by the wayside. They could be seeing a lot more gyms being a lot more professional. Because all the gyms that make the really silly mistakes aren't going to be around for much longer.